Okay. I don't know where to go now. I've gotten lost. I think I've already been that way. No, we're back here. Okay. the scary part now guys I actually don't know if this is going to be scary <sighs> music changed I swear, if there's a jump scare, I'm gonna freaking just kill something. There's a note. Private property. Oh. So this has already been explored. So, if it's already been explored, why should I fear it? All the boo traps should be already disabled. I wonder where all of these wires lead to. Is someone living down here? That is kind of weird. There's no wires in that direction. There are wires going this way. is this? There's no point having a password if you stick it to the screen for anybody to see. <laughs> That's true. Uh, do I need to really type it in? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Apparently it's... Dr. Dr. Mason. Doctor X two eight nine. That's his email. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know what the glitchiness on the top is, if you guys can see that. Doctor Mason. I have numerous reports filed against your research by your own specifically dimming staff that expresses some serious concerns for the current safety protocol in the place to shut down the project before I raise this issue with someone above my own position. I thought I'd like you the courtesy of allowing you to explain your circumstances to me in advance. Regards, James Pierard. I don't know. Wow. Okay, so this place is really is dangerous. Everything is under control here. The Recruits are just easy spooked, even given the nature of my research, it's to be expected. I'm afraid your assurance isn't enough in this case, and I would have preferred to have gone over the protocols myself before 
passing them up the chain. I don't know what exactly you are doing out there, but we can't have you risking the lives of scientists or yourself on the company's insurance regards. James Picard. Ugh, oh, lots of reading. Dear Mr. Picard, you'll have to forgive the abruptness in my last email, but I f forgot that it was company policy to stop doing important research to answer the beck and call of every office monkey who managed to push the send button that day. Whilst I'll openly admit our current shutdown and withdraw procedure is rather drawn out and long winded. It can be completed by a component team of four to three minutes flat. A time I'd like to point out exactly ten times faster than the current evacuation record for this company office should set fire someday. Again, I'm not one to point out fingers, but had the grant I required over two months ago made it through this sticky taffy that is filling the system the office aborted, I would have been able to implement an automated version of the shutdown and probably build a simple AI application to do your job for you and by now. Lastly, I'd like to point out that I had to be bothered to read this over the file on my research you'd like to notice. After the safety report filed, when one of the staff members first came into contact with smoke and evacuated, the research was deemed elucid. You've also have gone t on to note that the safety reports you are concerned with filed two months ago during this time. Okay. So I guess what that poisonous gas sign said. Really? Oh. Spam? Gosh, and this message may or may not be spam. Okay, don't read the spam ones, read this, the yellow ones. Research Operation Poll is giving you a chance to win $10,000 to spend on whatever you like, so it's doing up house or garden round the trip, new car or designer goodies, the choice is yours. This is your opportunity to get your hands on a big bundle of cash for free. Complete our customer survey. Now, well, I don't really care about that. Shortcuts. Um, back door. Um, okay, well, that's the only command I know, so... Shortcuts locked. Light my light program start. Activating this program will lock the test subject in a lower catacombs until completed. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Smoke containment active. What the hell is a smoke? I guess it can't hurt to try to light it, but I'm not sure. I don't remember seeing any switches. Okay, we did something. I don't know what we did.
Okay. Maybe this generator. Nope. Apparently I can't do that. Lights on. 57. Lights off. Zero. Okay, we need to turn off 57 lights. Seems easy enough. Wait, wait, wait. Terminal? Okay, that doesn't seem important. I think that's just gibberish. Oh, right. So they turn off as I touch them. So I just need to run through the maze to turn them all off. Doesn't sound too hard. Oh, okay. That... It's not creepy at all. I don't like this. Don't make me do this. I don't like this. Oh my! What in the world? No! 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 Nope. Are they scared of me though? According to the TV outside, that should be half of the lights. Not long now until I can move the lights and bring them back from that. No, I'm not looking behind me. Just gonna keep running through this freaking maze, scared as crap. What the heck? Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Oh. Did I just trap myself? Of course I did. I think I made it mad. Possibly. <sighs> this is too intense. Okay. He said. We've already gotten through half of the lights. Okay. So where are the final lights? I think. Yes! Yes! I know. It is surprisingly easy. How about that? Time to get the hell out of here. Yep, I agree. I agree. I totally agree. Except how? That is the question. How do I get out of here?
Oh, snap. That was the door I came through. Right? Okay, good, good, good. One maze down, just three to go. Three to go? Oh, man. We're gonna see a plan now, it's time for her. Okay. Okay. Well... It looks like we have a map of all the lights. Okay, so we have a map for that one. We have percent for that one. How did we know how many were in here? This is weird. Okay, so there are 57 lights in here. Oh. I don't think I can take this. That was too intense. Okay, this one has the poison gas. That one's filled with sand. So, which do we want? Poison gas or sand? Or rocks? Rocks, gas, or sand? Gas, uh. So it looks like we're gonna go up and around. Okay, let's just go. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, why did I do this? Definitely, this is poison gas. I am rotating. Oh, no, no. Hey, it didn't kill me. Good. Okay, now I'm slightly less scared. But it saved my progress. And you know what that means? That means it's gonna be dark when I go in. Okay, so we've tried out that one. Okay. So you're going to have to crawl a little bit. And they're afraid of the light. So standing near a light without touching it will keep me safe. Right? Right? Wrong. Maybe this game was a little bit too much for me. Okay. Well, it's getting late, everybody. And this is freaky as heck. What the heck are these things? What did I get myself into? Oh my gosh. I thought this was going to be a light, cheerful game. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Okay. 
I think I think I'm gonna end it here please let me know which path to take really I don't want this how much percent 20% that's actually pretty good okay I wonder what would happen once I do all that. There's a button. Can't really press it. I have a feeling this is going to trans. That button is going to transport this somewhere. So. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, take care. Please leave a like for this new series that I'm starting up. And please leave a like for me finally buying Bandicam. Um, I have noticed throughout it that it, like, at the 10 minute mark, it will freeze so it can start up a new 10 minute uh, file. But that's fine. Um, it's a lot better than other things. Um, so yes, please leave a like and subscribe. And please leave a comment on which area I should go to next. This has been Flying Spice. See ya.